Hello my loves and welcome back to Love All Beauty. My name is Amanda. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Um, I thought we would just kind of do a short, quick, easy video on a really easy summer eye look. Just kind of a monochromatic eye. So basically just working with one color shade. And lately I've been kind of doing this little trick that really makes this eye look super quick, I promise you. So before we jump into this video, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. You can ring the notification bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload a video. You can follow me on social media, Instagram, and Twitter. I think that's everything. Let's get right into it. I got my hair pinned back. For today's video in particular, I am going to be using the new Candy Skies palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles and Erin Weaver. I've been using this the last couple of days and it is just gorgeous. If you love just some pretty kind of pastel shades, great pops of color, a little bit of shimmer, you will love this palette. It is so pigmented, so easy to work with. It's just gorgeous and I love it for this time of year. Perfect for spring, summer, and all of that good stuff. So today I wanna use uh, lavender. So in this particular palette, uh, it's called eBug, and there are plenty of palettes out there right now that have kind of similar color stories, pastel shades, that kind of thing. So, and that ranges from drugstore pricing, of course, to high end. I believe this palette costs about forty nine dollars, and then I actually bought a bundle where it comes with two lip glosses as well. But you can just buy the palette separate. Lately, I've just been starting off by priming the eyelid. Um, I just use my concealer that's by NARS. It's a soft matte complete. And then I just use kind of like a denser concealer brush. And then I just go in and cancel out any of that redness. I should move you guys in a smidgen. That way you can see what the heck I'm doing. There we go, that should be close enough. I usually tend to have quite a bit of redness on my eyelid, so it's really nice, especially when using these lighter shades to kind of cancel out any discoloration that you may have on your eyelid, just because it's gonna help that color pop even more, and it won't feel like you're just literally trying to cover up cover up your eyelid with these shades. The concealer kind of does that for you, so you don't have to use as much of the eyeshadow. And typically I get a lot of that blue shading just kind of right in here. So I just go all over, especially right in that area too. Um, I am going to be using eyeshadow tapes today because, I don't know, I just like that to kind of help um, give the eyeshadow a nice seamless look without having to get it everywhere, basically. Um, obviously, I haven't done my face makeup yet. I've, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> uh, so I'm not really too concerned with any fallout. So I'm just going to angle, try not to freaking poke my eye out, just angle the tapes up towards my brow. But honestly, you can kind of create any shape that you're wanting, really. Okay, so lately what I've been doing is dipping into the shadow with like a flat shader brush like this. Almost like a small little concealer brush, but it's flat. And then I just really, there's still a little bit of purple that's left on here from me using it the other day. Just really get in that shade. Just pack it on there really good. And then what you're gonna do is just slap it on that eyelid. You don't really have to worry about being too, you know, careful with the process. Almost kind of make some light strokes downward 
and you can kind of go up into the crease as well. And then go all the way to the corner, just kind of keep layering it on there. Make sure you get by your lash line. You don't want to have any gaps in color. Got a little bit of fallout. And then what you're going to do is take a larger, like fluffier blender brush, so something like this, and you're going to dip back into that purple shade. And then you're just going to go in and blend right in the crease there. Super easy, you know, not hard to achieve this look at all. And sometimes what I like to do too is because we're kind of like a lighter purple shade, there's this kind of magenta shade in here called Sugar Mama. And I'm going to get in a little bit to that, kind of tap off a little bit of the extra and kind of work that into the crease as well. So that'll just kind of deepen up that lilac shade or lavender shade, whatever you want to call it. The key thing with any eyeshadow look is the blending. It just kind of helps to create that nice flawless finish to the eyeshadow. You know, I could have just left it at that first step, just <laughs> putting it on the eyelid and calling it a day, but you really want to blend out all those edges of eyeshadow. That way it just kind of, there's no beginning or end, you know, it just kind of blends into everything. Um, and you know, <laughs> you can honestly spend forever in a day d doing this, especially if you're me, cause I'm very type, you know, type A and I am just like constantly going back and forth into the shadows. But you really, you know, when you're doing a look like this, it's supposed to be really simple and you're honestly just using, in this case, two shades. Uh, you know, you don't have to spend too long doing this. Uh, and then if you want, you can just leave it at that if you like, um, like a more matte eye. You can leave it that way. I'm, I'm on, you know, I love sparkle. <laughs> so I'm going to dip into the shade Macaron, which is kind of like this pink purple shift. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to tap that just kind of all over the lid there. And that just adds a super pretty sparkle, especially if you're out in the sun. I feel like shades like this just really catch that sunlight and just look super pretty. And another thing you can do as well, this shade or this palette is nice and then it comes with a white shade, just a stark white matte, which is called Marshmallow. And what's nice about that is that if you find your edges are kind of a little too harsh from the end of this pink purple to your eyebrow and you really want to help seamlessly, uh, seamlessly <laughs> blend those together. Just take a, a little blender brush like this, just a little bit of that white, and just go on that outer edge with it. And that just really helps to marry those two together. Kind of diffuse out the color a little bit, and yeah, just help it look even more seamless. I'm actually gonna go in with my Dior Backstage palette, which is actually for highlighting, and I'm just gonna kind of draw some of that highlight into the corner there. 
just kind of adds a little extra, a little extra something, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just finish up the rest of my face makeup and my other eye and yeah, I'll be back with kind of final thoughts. All right. All right guys, I'm back. Rest of my makeup is on. I actually used a new foundation today. Uh, so I'll probably do a video on that in the future, just letting you know my thoughts and that kind of thing. Um, wearing Pat McGrath on the lips along with a new Laura Lee Los Angeles lip gloss called E-Bug. I continued that same kind of lavender purple shade on the lower lash line. And I didn't do, go too crazy with the eyeliner. I just kind of did more or less like a really small brush, kind of like a tight lining. Um, I didn't want to go too dramatic with a wing just because, you know, this look is a little bit more colorful. But I encourage you guys to honestly play with color. This is the perfect time of year to be doing that. There's so many gorgeous eyeshadow palettes out there that you can really kind of test the waters with doing pastels and, and brighter colors and even neons and that kind of thing. So I hope this video helped you guys just kind of get some tips and tricks for how to do that really quickly and easily. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.